To get started, go to atlas.ai.umich.edu. Once on Atlas, click the Schedule Builder link in the top right corner of the page. At the next screen, select the academic term you want to build the schedule for. Once you select the term, click Create New Schedule. A calendar will now expand below where you can build your schedule. First, click the Calendar Settings button and select whether or not you want the Schedule Builder to include closed or waitlisted sections in the options it shows you. If you check the Allow Time for Bus Travel box, Schedule Builder will prevent you from adding back-to-back -back classes to your calendar if they're on different campuses and would require travel time. When you're done, click off the pop-up window to save your selection. To start adding courses to the schedule, click the search box titled Add Courses, type in the name of the course you want to add, and click it to add it. You'll see that the course has now been added to your schedule. If there are multiple sections of this course, the lowest section number will be added to your schedule by default. At the top of the course card, you can click the hyperlinked course number to go to the course's profile on Atlas. Below the course number, you'll see the title of the course, number of credits, and the class type. Below the class type, you'll see the section number, the title of the section, if it has one, the class time, and the days the class occurs on. Next, you'll see the hyperlinked instructor names, which you can click to go to their Atlas profiles. On the right side of the card, you'll see an indicator that tells you the course's status. Next to that is the number of open seats in the course. And below that, you can see the location of the course and the mode, for example, in-person or hybrid. You'll notice that section numbers are now housed within a drop-down menu that allows you to see all section options and select which ones should be included when the schedule builder shows you schedule options. Before opening the drop-downs and making any selections, you can see how many schedule options are available. When you click on the drop-down and start to make some selections, the number of options will decrease as unselected options are filtered out. The default setting when you click the drop-down is that all sections will be selected. If you'd like, you can uncheck all and only select the ones you know will work for you. Notice that when I select these sections, there's a note telling me that a certain number of associated sections have been automatically selected in the other drop-down menus. This is because some sections are linked together and must be taken together. For example, a lecture that has certain discussion sections associated with it. If a section conflicts with a course already on your calendar, you'll see the time conflict message next to it. Once you're done making selections, click outside the pop-up window to close it and save your selections. Below, in the lab section dropdown, you'll see that a certain number of sections have been selected because they're associated with the sections you selected in the lecture dropdown. You can continue this process with any other section option dropdowns on the course card. Once you're done making selections in the drop-down menus, you can click the left and right buttons at the bottom of the course card to view all options for that course on your schedule. Only the options that are selected in the drop-downs will be displayed. If you're not seeing one or more of the courses you'd selected showing up on the calendar as you browse options, there may be a time conflict with something already on your schedule. If you'd like to see all options, including those that conflict with something on your schedule, click the settings gear at the top right corner of the course card and check the box next to Allow Time Conflicts. You'll see that the number of options at the bottom of the course card went up, and you can now click through the options and see time conflict options as well. Once we've made that change, you'll see that other courses might now be marked as a time conflict. If you haven't enabled the Allow Time Conflict setting for that course, Schedule Builder will pop up a View Available Options button for you to let you browse other section options for that course that don't conflict with the changes you've made to other courses on the schedule. If you've saved courses or collections of courses in Atlas, you can automatically bring those into your schedule. Click the Save Courses or Course Collections buttons to select them and add them to your schedule. You can also add a break to your schedule, for example for lunch or work. Click the Time Break button and enter the details, then click Add Break. You'll now see it showing up on your calendar. Schedule Builder can also automatically generate alternate schedules for you. To see alternate schedules with the classes in your currently viewing panel, click the Generate Options button, then click Show Options. You can then click right and left through the alternate options and you'll see the schedule changing. Schedule Builder will only show you automatically generated schedules that don't feature conflicts with courses or breaks, 
unless you've enabled time conflicts for certain courses in your currently viewing panel. If you're satisfied with one of your section selections and want to make sure it doesn't get changed when generating automatic schedules, click the lock icon next to it. You'll see that it's now displayed as locked on your schedule. If you'd like to name the schedule you've created, you can enter a name under Schedule Name and hit Enter to save it. You can click between the different schedules you've created in the section marked Schedules. Once you have a schedule you're happy with and are ready to register, you can click Send to Backpack to send the courses in your schedule to your backpack in Wolverine Access. A window will pop up showing you the courses you're about to send to your backpack. Click Send to Backpack to finish sending them to your backpack. Once you see the confirmation that your courses have been successfully saved to your backpack, click Go to Wolverine Access. At the Wolverine Access screen, select the term you want to backpack for and click Continue. At the next screen, you'll see a message telling you that you have classes pending import from the Schedule Builder. Press Import Schedule to finish importing the courses you sent from the Schedule Builder. You'll now be prompted to confirm your addition of each course, including whether you want to override any time conflict and what grading method you're selecting. Once you finish confirming the details, you'll be taken back to your backpack page, and you'll see a message that all the classes have been imported from the Schedule Builder. You can go back to Schedule Builder at any time to do more scheduling and can follow the same process we just walked through to send new courses you've scheduled to your backpack. When you do send to backpack again, only new courses in your schedule will be sent to Wolverine Access. Courses that are already in your backpack won't be imported again. This concludes the walkthrough video for the Atlas Schedule Builder. If you have any questions or need support, please reach out to us at atlas-support at umich.edu.